Hello and welcome to my channel. Merry Christmas to you all and I'm wishing you a happy new year in case I don't do any videos in between but you never know. Anyway the project the writing out the bible in one year project as in this is now the update. These are the three main books we're using. The textbook that we're writing in, the Bible that we're writing from, and the workbook, as in experimenting and all sorts of notes and what have you in that one. So we go through these as they come. So, small one, just a small A5 lined notebook. And what I did, which I think I showed you, was I was working out why I was doing a project, the pens I was sorting, so this was all my supplies I needed to get, the books I was going to use, the Bible I was going to use, and the pens, and what the project was going to cost me. So for here in the UK, because I know some of you are not in the UK, I was averaging about £145.43 for the, shall we say, <laughs> anything up to six year project. So I thought they were pretty good. And then I've started a progress sheet. So what I'd put up here, I don't know if you can read it, it says, by the time I'm 70, I should, maybe, might have finished. <laughs> Ever the optimist. Anyway, so we've got 1,251 Bible pages. And at one Bible page a day, so that's doing three of the A4 pages a day, I reckoned it would take me four and a half years approximately to do this. Now, as you can see, I've not settled into any sort of rhythm because it varies. There's been one page, three page, one, two, three, four, and three. Not every day, obviously. But making progress. So that's the ongoing workbook. Which is good. Next, we have the Bible we're using. Now, if you remember, I said I was going to try and use some tabs that I'd picked out. And I wasn't quite sure that the colour would go. I didn't go with them. I went with a very colourful set of which I've done a separate video that says if you'd like these page, these tabs in page form that you can print off, give me an email and uh, I'll ping them over to you. It's a PDF file, which you can have and put in your Bible should you like. So what do we do with this Bible in the end? Let's just have a look. Well... Me being me, yes, I had some pictures in. And no, I've still not worked out what number Bible this is. I had two more Bibles at Christmas. So there's a bit of um, stock taking, should we say, to be done there. And I said here, I'm finding out that writing the Bible word for word is a very satisfying thing to do. And I've done it for a few days. And yes, it means a lot more. I'm understanding more. I might not have got very far, but uh, it is so much more meaningful. So we've got pictures in there. We've got highlighted. So alphabetical list of the books of the Bible. Welcome to the Bible. We've got Bible at a glance. People of the Bible. Well-known events in the Bible. Well-known events in the life of Jesus. Selected parables of Jesus. Selected miracles of Jesus. Help and guidance. Reading guide. The preface. The translation. Yes. <laughs> uh, textual bias. The footnotes and formatting. And then we come into the Old Testament. And yes, I've got my nice pictures. So what I'd done here, I'd actually written the dates that I'd written out 
that page up. Don't think I did that any further, but uh, might be something I want to do. What I had done, ah yes, was actually highlight the ones that I've done. But I like actually the idea. It probably didn't go. I don't know if you can see there. It's the pen I was using. It sort of bled through and I didn't want it bleeding through on all the pages. So that's probably why I left that. I'll have a look at dating it later. Anyway, we're making our way through just by highlighting the numbers. And you'll see in the big textbooks, I've changed pen colour. Every time we have a change, I've changed it, the pen colour. And this is where I'm up to. So what happens is I take my handy bookmark, coloured in. It's um, uh, one of the Cherie Big Eyed dolls that I just actually love. And you can find her on Etsy and everywhere like that to download her pictures. And I coloured them in. And then I can either use it colour up to follow it down or white up to follow it down. Because when you're darting from this to the textbook, you can lose your place. So I need to, for me, even though it's large text, I still need to work my way through it. And that works. And that's nice. And she's moving along as we go along. So you can see I've actually got <laughs> quite a bit to do. But it's a good Bible. It's laid out nicely. As I say, two columns, large text. No extras, because I didn't want any extras in this one. I've got Plenty of journal and Bibles, and they do their job as journal and Bibles. This one, I've put some odd photos in, because I just like the pictures. But in the main, it's just text on text. There's just, the, that's the way it goes. But a really good Bible, really clear, easy to read, easy to understand. Maps in it, which were always nice. Bible guides. Gives you a bit more of a breakdown of each book of the Bible. I know I'm going backwards, but uh, I'm sure you'll get the hang of this. <laughs> so, yeah, and tables and measures. Now, as I said, this Bible I'm using is an NIV Holy Bible. Larger print. There we go. Really good Bible. So that was sort of a quick bible walkthrough if you like not one of my normal bible walkthroughs which get a bit more detailed but this is because this is the project bible so let's put him aside and then we come to the textbook so i wanted to show you how far i've gotten so it's colorful photographs um lovely pictures i'd seen on pinterest downloaded them sent them to the for, you know the photograph makers whatever you want to call them that put them into photographs for me some stickers another one of the sherry sherry besties is it or my besties is it god says i am i am chosen i am a friend of jesus i am god's child and a little god one there which is nice jesus one there then we come in more lovely colourful. Now I did this because the actual writing out is going to be just writing in the main. There's not a lot of colour because the colour is in my actual pen choice. And then I thought, well, mm, can't quite leave it at that. Perhaps I'll do some patterns. So I've put some black and white patterns, whereas you would have perhaps black text and coloured patterns. I've done it any other way. And we start in at Genesis. And I've dated the bottom of the pages just so I can keep track of what I'm doing. See, there's only little bits of patterns. In the main, it's text. And that's how it goes. And you see, we go to two, so it changes colour. And there's still little bits of squiggles in there. We go to three. We've changed colour. Still a little bit of pattern just to break the whole text thing up. I think it would be just too much like a, a reading book, if you like, if there wasn't anything of mine in it. So I had to do bits. Change colour again. 
and I've really enjoyed it. Changing colour again. Put the patterns in a different place. Change colour again. So you can see where this is going. Every time we change, we have a new colour. And we have odd patterns just to break the pages up. And that's where I'm up to. So it's not very far, I admit. But I have made a start. And I wanted to update you on how far I'd got, how I'd dressed my Bible, and what was going on in my little workbook. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Do follow along. I'll do you another update when I get a bit further. So stay safe. Be kind to each other. And uh, do give me a thumbs up and do subscribe because then you won't miss any updates. So it's take care and bye bye for now.